You're watching Wish TV, your local news source. Now, News 8 at 6 continues. And we start at 6.30 with tonight's Health Spotlight. And big news from the American College of Emergency Physicians sounding the alarm on what it calls a crisis surrounding patient boarding in emergency rooms. News 8's Drew Blair asked Wish TV's medical expert and former Surgeon General, Dr. Jerome Adams, to explain the concern. Patient boarding is where admitted patients, instead of being sent to an inpatient room, are held down in the emergency department because they don't have enough beds on the floor for them to go to. And the reason this is a problem is multifactorial. Number one, the emergency department isn't equipped to deal with patients who are supposed to be admitted. If you're an ICU patient, you may need a higher level of care. If you're a psychiatric patient, you may need a different kind of care than what they can provide in the emergency department. But the other problem is it stops people who have problems in the waiting room from being able to come into the emergency department and get a bed. And we've heard horrific cases of patients dying in the waiting room while waiting to be seen because the emergency departments are full. My goodness, and it already is a stressful scenario no matter what the situation, but then to add on top of that, I can only imagine. What have you heard about how this problem is affecting Indiana hospitals? Well, as you know, I work at Eskenazi, and uh, it, when you look at downtown Indy, I think the hospitals do a pretty good job of working with one another and helping them understand uh, if they're full uh, to divert patients to other places. The problem you have is when you get on the outskirts and when you get out to the suburbs and the rural communities, uh, you may have a five bed emergency department and that can easily become overwhelmed. And so uh, this is a problem across the nation. Indianapolis uh, and the central Indiana region are in a better situation than most. But with an uptick in cases uh, of RSV, of COVID, of flu, um, we're really concerned that many of these hospitals and these emergency departments could be pushed to the breaking point. Well, you certainly do a great service of arming us with easy to understand information. So Dr. Adams, thank you for your time this evening. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.